Hello students, welcome to Ghosh Biology World. In the last class, I have discussed about the basic concepts of hormones. But today, I am going to discuss about the mechanisms of hormonal action. That is, how the hormone works inside the cell of an organism. <coughs> this is this concept is in your class 11 NCRT textbook NCRT textbook class 11 NCRT textbook page number 339, 340 and 341 <coughs> basically hormones act through two kinds of receptors number one membrane bound receptors and number two nuclear receptors I am going to discuss about the membrane bound receptors what is membrane bound receptors first of all many proteinaceous hormones Many proteinaceous hormones <coughs> and amino acid derivatives are too large that cannot enter through the cell membrane. That is why it binds with the receptors of the cell membrane, that is plasma membrane. This is adrenaline. Adrenaline is a amino acid derivative hormone this adrenaline hormone is produced from the adrenal gland and when the <coughs> adrenaline hormone is produced then it binds with the same surface receptor the actually the cell or tissue on which the hormone bind is known as target tissue or target cell. <coughs> Adrenaline is also called as epinephrine. Epinephrine. Adrenaline is also called as epinephrine. This adrenaline hormone is produced from the adrenal gland. See what is adrenal? See, just have a look. This is adrenal gland, something like this. <coughs> An adrenal gland. is located above the kidney. This adrenal gland has two parts. The outer light part is called adrenal cortex. Adrenal cortex. And the inner dark part is called adrenal medulla. Adrenal medulla. <coughs> Chromaffin cells are present. And from the chromatin cells, this adrenal hormone is produced. When the adrenaline, uh, not, not adrenal, sorry, adrenaline. When the adrenaline hormone is produced from the adrenal medulla of adrenal gland, then it binds with the receptor, that is receptor. This is receptor. When adrenaline hormone bind with the receptor then it activates the G protein then it activates G protein G protein means guanine nucleotide binding 
protein. <coughs> and the G protein, guanine nucleotide binding protein, further activates adenine cyclase enzyme. Adenine cyclase is an enzyme. And adenine cyclase is associated with the membrane. This enzyme is associated with the cell membrane. When the G protein activates the adenine cyclase enzyme, then this enzyme converts ATP, adenosine triphosphate, into CAMP, that is cyclic adenosine monophosphate. Cyclic adenosine monophosphate. This adenine cyclase enzyme converts ATP adenosine triphosphate into cyclic adenosine monophosphate. And this cyclic adenosine monophosphate <coughs> activates protein kinase enzyme. And after that, this protein kinase enzyme further activates phosphorylase enzyme. Phosphorylase kinase enzyme. Phosphorylase kinase is also protein kinase. And when the phosphorylase kin kinase enzyme is produced, then it converts inactive glycosin phosphorylase into active glycosin phosphorylase. And then glycosin phosphorylase enzyme further activated converted glycosin into glucose 1-phosphate and as a result glucose is formed. When, see, when G protein is activated, then after that, G protein further activates adenylase cyclase enzyme. A single molecule of active adenylase cyclase enzyme can produce of about 100 cyclic adenosine monophosphate. This one molecule of adenylase cyclase enzyme can produce of about 100 molecules of cyclic adenosine monophosphate. <coughs> and this one molecule of adrenaline, a single molecule of adrenaline hormone can produce 100 million molecules of glucose within 1 to 2 minutes. See, a single molecule of adrenaline can produce of about 100 million molecules of glucose within 1 to 1 or 2 minutes. That is the complete mechanism. <coughs> and when, now my question is to you, when adrenaline hormone is secreted, adrenaline hormone is secreted from the adrenal medulla of adrenal gland. And when it will be secreted? A adrenaline is an emergency hormone. When a person gets fear or stress, then this hormone is produced inside the body. Suppose, for example, if you are moving on the road, see a snack, then what you will do? Then what you will do? Then at that time, to escape, suddenly we escape from that from that place because you get fear. You will get fear at that time when a person get fear. 
then this hormone adrenaline is produced from the adrenal medulla and it is it, uh, it's a life saving that's why it's, it is called the life saving hormone and the secretion of this adrenaline hormone is directly controlled by the autonomic nervous system it is not under the control of pituitary gland it directly controlled by the autonomic nervous system and this hormone adrenaline hormone contributes to fight or flight reactions when this hormone is produced at the time when you see a snail at the time your body becomes more energetic why because a single molecule of adrenaline can produce 100 million molecules of glucose within one or two minutes when the glucose level when adrenaline hormone is secreted then the blood glucose level also increases and it also accelerates the rate of respiration it also accelerates the heartbeat heartbeat also increases when this hormone is produced from the produced inside the body and when adrenaline hormone is produced then glucose the blood glucose level will be high due to an adrenaline hormone acts through this kind of mechanism that is membrane bound receptors some hormones example follicle stimulating hormone also act through this kind of this kind of mechanism and this is all about the membrane bound receptors if uh, if you have any query then please write in the comment box i will reply you individually and hope you all understand and in the next class i will discuss about the nuclear receptors and if you like my video then please share more and more and subscribe my channel thank you very much